All right, guys. I was talking about lacquer thinner and steel wool. I don't like to leave these chemicals on this uh, gel coat. Uh, I'm not sure what Daryl used for this, but it's it's some strong stuff. But I just use the thinner on a little steel wool just to remove what little residue you see here of thinner that the stripper didn't get off. got a little work in here that I just applied but you can see where the primer the gray the dark gray primer was left and then I immediately take a rag and wipe wipe the lacquer thinner off I don't like I said I don't leave it on it too long don't think it would hurt it but I don't have anything to back that up other than a little experience but you can see what a difference it made here. It didn't hurt anything at all, but it removes uh, what little primer that the stripper didn't take off. And it makes my next step a whole lot easier. These are the two scrapers that I use. One's just a simple little 50 or 60 cent scraper, scraper from uh, Lowe's. And it works well. And what it don't get, then uh, I'll take just a simple uh, box cutter blade and remove the rest of it. a little time but it's well worth the effort again lacquer thinner on the steel wool the scraping doesn't affect the gel coat whatsoever and that's how I've done the whole fuselage so far Works pretty good. Applying the stripper just pretty simple. I like to put it on the brush and then just wipe it on. Wipe it on, let it set for oh 30 minutes. Chemi that's another chemical, like I said, I don't like to leave it on the on the fiberglass body, the gel coat, too long. Don't know that it would hurt it, but everything I read says to not leave it on fiberglass too long. So I'm going to stick with that rule. That's what I've done, always done, and it's worked out well. <laughs> 